you know, I want to give a special shout out to Trina. Now, uh, her music is nasty, but, you know, it's one of them artists I heard growing up. She is finally settling down later in life. Um, Kaya says something is wrong with her snatch, that she should have snatched the cat back because she can't have no kids or whatever. I don't know. Trina has not opened up about that. But what I do want to focus on is the fact that she's married. And, you know, uh, Keisha, Kior opened up and asked her, do she have a prenup? And I don't know why Keisha, no, this is not, is this the same Keisha that Tia, Tia Kemp said that slept with Rick Ross? Let me know. Prenup. I didn't. Why not? Because my husband brings all of his money to me. So what? I'm in charge. He can't spend a dime without my consent. He can't spend a dime for nothing unless it goes through me. That's that what phone I'm talking about. Ringing up, that thing go up. I see everything. That's what so, I'm yeah. talking about. Oh no, 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 no. To me, that's that's just straight up emasculating to tell a man that you not only got it, you know, a lot of men go to work to make money and also go to work to feel like they have some sort of independence. It's literally the legitimate excuse. So if I go to work to have some sort of independence and I don't have to worry about me smothering you, you smothering me, and everything that I work for, you're gonna police, that means that you're with me. Be, when I'm at work, that means that you're controlling and curating my social life and everything. No matter who you are, how good your snatch is, I'm gonna tell you like Jonetta said. Every every black woman, every woman supposed y'all supposed to think that y'all got some good snatch. Jonetta said he got some. T. S. Madison said it. Trina, Young Miami, J. T. Cardi Flea, Kaya, Sexy Red, Glorilla, you in the chat. Okay, everybody, Freak of Leaks, Keisha, Teresa, Lisa, Nene, they all got some good stuff, okay? All right? They all grip it tight. It's all, okay, all of it, okay? You're, every Everybody feel that way. Everybody do. All right? You say hi, uh, uh, the he hop of high effort, going to speak on a straight relationship. Well, Sorry you feel that way, but, you know, you definitely are blocked for life. But I do want to address that. And I'm not even going to address my sexuality. If you don't know, you, you just don't know. Uh, I don't feel like people need to police that. I, I don't I don't think that that's relevant. That's like you telling me what to do. You know, when there's a connection and a union in a relationship, there still needs to be some form of independence. You got your friends. I got my friends. Oh, all of our friends are the same. Okay, great. Well, let me go to work. I'm doing this for our family and I'm doing this. And, and you know, when you go to work, it's a different mindset. You go to work, like for instance, you, you in a domestic dispute and you feel like violence is going to occur, but I got to go to work. I got responsibility. If I, if I, if I do something, I got to go to work. If I do something, it's going to inconvenience our entire life. So let me go to work. While you at work, working, making the money, doing what you got to do, you also cooling off. I just feel like anybody that try to trap somebody mentally, socioeconomically, that's just, that's unnatural. It's unnatural. A relationship has to flourish. Just because y'all, this is why I don't deal with struggle relationships. I'm not, I'm not going to struggle because you're struggling. And I'm not going to pull myself down without understanding that you probably have some potential to pull this whole relationship up. So this is why I'm pouring into you. You know, it has to be like this. There has to be goals to be worked towards. There has to be some sort of independence, even in a relationship. Y'all like to blame the kids. If you got a, if you got kids by one man and now you're in a new relationship, married to another man with another set of kids, the same way that man is going to come and love your prior kid and treat him like his kid, psychologically, there's still a separation. There's still a form of independence around that. There's, there's a knowing. You don't even have to talk about those things. But the minute you start controlling somebody's actions, movement, telling them what to do, making them like you. The thing about it is women don't like men telling them what to do. They don't. The same thing that men have to do to women. Y'all got to play the same game. You got to make him or make her feel like it's their idea. You can't invade their men men mentality. You got to know what they like, know what triggers them, know what they want, know what they need, if you really want to build. And then you can offer and assist and help. 
that's what you can do. But don't tell them what to do. Don't control their revenue like that. I'm just saying. Now, I know a lot of y'all who probably disagree, probably be like, oh, if we don't do that, we got to check the credit cards. It's how to cheat on you at the hotels. I'm not married. So maybe I am speaking from an immature mindset. I'm not married, never have been married. And I'm not as old as some of y'all. So let me know what y'all think in the comments in the chat below. I just feel like this whole thing with Trina, um, you know, and then on top of that, she even said that, uh, and what really got me going on in on her is she said that women are more intelligent than men. And I'm just like, just because you think differently and can come up with the same conclusion don't mean that you're somehow smarter. You know, um, that's just what I'm saying. A lot of women go and get all these education and degrees. I like to call them the alphabet women. Just to get into a relationship and say that they're more valuable than the man and they're the prize and they're the catch. Instead of just letting shit be natural. You ain't got to do all of that. But, you know, to each his own. If she's happy, she's happy. If she's happy controlling all of his finances, don't get mad if you find out that Tabitha Brown husband is controlling all of her finances. She retired him. She said, my money is your money. And Trina said, his money is her money. So, you know, to each his own. Let me know what you guys think in the chat below. Um, if you have to police another person, that is not the right relationship. That's that's all I'm saying. I, I don't like police games. Don't police me. Don't, don't, don't think for me. Don't bother me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just like... And a part of and, a, and the reason I'm like this right now is because I'm an artist and I have to spend a lot of time in different areas. Like I got to compartmentalize when I'm on YouTube, when I'm in my real life, when I'm in acting class. Those are like compartmentalization. I cannot mix them. And so um, you do a job. You compartmentalize your job. Your problems at home should never affect what you think and how you feel uh, at your job, nor in school. That's how you get the mass shooters. Uh, but anyways, please hit the like. Do you feel like Tabitha should have gotten a prenup for her husband to not? So this is what I think about Tabitha Brown and her husband. I think when they met, what year did they marry? And if I'm not mistaken, when they married, they both were struggling. Um, their form of love wasn't based on, it was based on the possibility of socioeconomic standards, right? So even if they have a prenup, Everything that Tabitha has gained in the relationship and everything that he's gained or lost has been togetherness. That's how it should be. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like if you're already a celebrity and make if Tabitha Brown just met her husband after she's already become super successful, then yes, she need a prenup. Trina don't own her. She don't own pullover. She don't own nothing. Slip and slide. Take the head. Them own that. Trick daddy. Them. They don't own none of that. So they're not making residual income off of that. Didn't Trina have a, a narrative, a whole storyline about this janky manager scamming her and ripping her off for $300,000 or someone loving hip hop? And she she act like it was the end of the world. I mean, she need her money. Trina is just like, she's an old version of Young Miami. And I just feel like Trina bringing out Young Miami, that was her trying to, you know, pass off and usher Young Miami in. Or is it? Because, you know, she a hater. They asked Trina who the queen of rap. She said it was Beyonce because she don't want to get Nick in her credit. Oh, no. Still mad because Nick went finance her broke ass music video that we don't care about. The song released two, three years. Too late. We don't care. You had no budget. Nicki said she can't do you no favor by paying for the music video and then also giving you a free verse. Mm -mm. So, you know, Trina don't own nothing. You know, it's somebody down there in Miami still, you know, still looking at her and still idolizing and beating off to pictures of her when, when she put out the baddest B. He don't see the wrinkles and the hot dogs on her neck. He still see the baddest B. So, he, you know, let him get his Nick Cannon and Mariah Carey on. Appreciate you guys. Um, I'm sure he brings what she needs to the table, Tabitha. I mean, right. Right. And he And he did it. We don't know how many how many chances how how many times he struggled and did something and, and what was we don't know his inner struggles in the police with Los Angeles Police Department it could have been whatever and she was like you know what you he probably never wanted to be a police she said that he became a police to take a job not because he wanted to do it as a career he probably didn't even have a career he probably needed a strong woman to anchor him so again 
And if she can take all his money, he can take all her money. <laughs> I know a lot of y'all gonna disagree, but I'm just I'm just going through the motions.